Today I want to discuss hydroponic gardening as an investment. We're going to look at the potential of my system. It's unusual and unique, but there's nothing new about vertical gardening. It's catching on like Bieber fever. The kid has 632 million views, and you thought you were popular, ha! Huh. The return on investment of this hydroponic system will make you very popular too. You might become known as the pepper person, but I don't know about pepper fever. Maybe you can make $500,000 over the next 10 years with an investment of just $606, which is returned to you in crops over three months with a profit of over $10,000 if you're lucky. I don't sell the units, so please don't try to order them from me. I have designed the system, and I did not copyright it or patent it. It's free, and I hope you build one and make a killing, because that would thrill me more than anything. If I want to make money, I'll build a system and plow all the profits back in to buy more units. I don't wish to make money by building these and selling them to you at sky-high prices. I figured it will cost $606 to build one, and that's based on pricing the parts at Lowe's. I did not pay myself to cut the parts and assemble them, so if you don't do it yourself, that's extra. This is a do-it-yourself estimate of cost, and that's all it is. I take no responsibility of you cutting your finger on the saw or crop failure because of a tornado. I'm going to show you how to look at this as an investment and then teach you the basics of investing if you're not too familiar with them. I will help you calculate yield based on a very simple formula and then you can try building one. When you put your money into this bank, there is no inflation because the Federal Reserve can't devalue your life savings by counterfeiting money with their QE1, QE2, QE3, QE4, and QE5 baloney. Robbing old people of their savings is immoral and someone should end that corrupt system. So what can you do? You can grow bell peppers and tell Bernanke to eat cat food. Why do I look at this as an investment? Because there is growth. I like growth. Growth, for lack of a better word, is good. I never saw anything grow valuable faster than a seed. One kernel of corn can grow to 584 in just 84 days. That's average for one ear, but the average corn plant has three ears, and that's just the largest ear. If you put one dollar in the bank and came back in less than three months and found five hundred eighty four dollars, what would you do? You'd keep quiet about it. Obviously the bank made an error. Well, corn is no error. It's reality. Nothing grows as fast as crops, and if Bernie Madoff had figured this out, he might not be in jail. Everyone thought he was a genius because he got investors eight percent annually. The truth was, he couldn't even do that, and now he's in prison for swindling people. Corn demonstrates an annual return of 260 million percent. If you plant one kernel and then replant all kernels which grow from that one, you finish up the year with 260 million kernels of corn. How do you like that? I worked in investments for 25 years, and so I have the investor's perspective on things. My hydroponic design is not like any that I've ever seen. Most systems are two-dimensional and the designers don't seem to think in three dimensions. When you look at the ground, you see only two dimensions. You see left and right. You have the area in front of you and the area behind you. That's all most gardeners see. They don't think up and down, vertical. You not only have the x-axis and the y-axis, but the z-axis. If you're paying rent by the square foot, that's two dimensions. Use the third dimension and get a multiple of the space that you rented. My hydroponic system is based on the use of the third dimension in order to extract the benefits that exist there. Let's look at the formula for calculating return on investment. ROI, as it is called, equals profit divided by investment. And if it's one year, you don't have to adjust for time. If you do it in half a year, you have to double it to get the annual return. If it takes a quarter of a year, then you have to quadruple it because you can do four such investments in a single year. My system is ideal for indoors, growing with lights, which give plants just what they need, and the water tank is a closed system. Very little water seeps into the ground. It's a very efficient system, and I think the entire world will have to switch to this because it makes sense. Save 90% of the cost of produce by eliminating the transportation of crops to the stores 
by growing them in the building next to the grocery store. Or grow them in a shopping center and sell them to the foot traffic and you have eliminated 90% of the cost. People will love you for it. You can double your price and who will complain? You're still 80% below market. Now let's do an example using the estimated costs of my unit. I have figured that it will take about $606 to make this, but if you already have some of the parts and choose to use them, then maybe you can save a few dollars and my estimate will be high, and that's okay. Whenever you figure costs, you want to figure high, very high, and low when you figure income. When you do this, your income is always higher than expected, and your costs always lower. It's a good rule to adapt. Let's see what happens to our Bell Peppers investment in the first three months. You build a unit, let's say, and you plant peppers and fill up a single unit, which holds 828 plants. The unit is 12 feet long and 1 foot wide, almost. Less than 12 square feet, and you put out $606 to build it, let's say. The average pepper plant puts out 14 peppers, I've read, so let's use that to see what the potential is. Don't look for guarantees, because this is just potential that we're looking for. This is the highest it could be, barring any great hormone which causes plants to grow twice as fast and put out twice as many peppers. You also can't manipulate the life cycles to fool the plant into thinking that a day is only 18 hours to make it grow faster. We're going to use average growing times and average production results based on a community out there which is well established and they report what they experienced when they grew peppers. This unit grows 828 plants, and if each plant gives you 14 peppers, you'd have over 11,000 peppers in three months. They are worth about a dollar each, I'd say. Your investment is $606, and that goes on the bottom as the denominator. The numerator is your profit, and that goes on top. Profit is the value of your crop minus the cost to produce it, and in the first year, you have some costs. So subtract $606 from 11592 and you get 10986 and your unit is paid for. Next year, you don't have to subtract the cost of making the hydroponic unit. That increases the profit a little bit, but you can also make one of these units every three months so you have a nice buildup of production capacity and your revenue grows geometrically. Now do the math. The unit produced 1,813% in just three months. That's a quarter of a year, so multiply by four to get the annual yield of this unit, and that comes out to 7,251%. Let's compare that with Bernie Madoff. His investors got 8%, and he went to jail for it. This figure of 7,251% in the first year does not remain constant. In the second year, you don't have a $606 cost. That increases your return on investment. You also have to consider that all your capital was returned in the first three months, and you have to consider that when you look at income and return on investment. If you make an investment of $606 and get it all back in three months, what is the term of the investment? It's always going to be three months, isn't it? Did you have any money out for more than these three months? If you had this money stashed under your pillow and you took it out of its hiding place and invested it for three months and then put it back, how long was it risked? Only three months. Three months is the only number I can see. So if you make $40,000 net in the first year by having four planting seasons, that $40,000 is divided by just $606 and your term of investment was just three months, even though you waited an entire year to receive the $40,000. Next year, you add another $40,000 income, and that income also came from the original $606 investment, and so your return on investment continues to rise. It grows to 300,000% in 10 years, all because you had money out for three months. Over that 10 years, you have taken over $460,000 in profits from this single unit, perhaps. What you have to realize is that no matter how much you take out, your original investment was only $606. The term will never be more than the original three months that it took to get all your capital back. Okay, so you smell money and you want to know if there's any way to squeeze more money out of this idea? Yes, there is. You might consider putting all your profits back in and build more units so you can grow at the fastest rate. Just take out what you need to live and keep growing. 
This retirement program makes sense and you need something to replace Social Security dreams. Maybe Social Security will be there to give you part of the money back that you paid in all those years, but I have better ideas. When you trust government, you lose every time. If but how many of you can afford to invest $606 to build one? How many can construct one that works? How many of you understand pH, plant nutrition, absorption rates relative to pH of the solution, light wavelength for maximum growth? Do you think it's easy? You might have to read a book a day like me. Get your text-to-speech software online. It's free and it makes reading much easier. To be a farmer, you have to know a few things, and there are thousands of experts out there who are telling us how to do it. It's not a secret. It just takes effort. Reading is hard without the automatic reader. Try one and see if you don't enjoy reading with one. You can watch videos, but most videos are very boring. They are as poorly done as the units they are demonstrating.